Okay, we have the water in the aquarium. We have the water pump running. The water is flowing. Filling the planter. We'll get the siphon ready to work. I did end up cutting some slits in the bottom of this to make sure that we had good water flow. So all we have to do now is wait for the water to fill the tank and see if the siphon starts working. Uh, one other thing while we're waiting for that I'll mention is you'll notice that I'm using a blue barrel here. Now, I have white barrels and I have blue barrels. And the problem with the white barrels is it lets light shine through. And what you'll end up with is you'll end up with algae growing inside this planter. In other words, algae will start growing on the rocks in here. And you don't really want that. You can see here the white plastic, how the light how the light shines through the white plastic, but it doesn't shine through the dark plastic. For a planter like this, I see a lot of people using the white plastic barrels, and they'll work, I'm sure, but if you have the darker barrels, such as this blue one here, it actually will work out better because of that reason. Okay, I have a 140 gallon per hour pump running here and it took about 20 25 minutes to fill this of course it won't take as long once I get gravel in here according to my calculations the siphon should kick on at about three inches so we got a little bit to go here about another inch to go When that water level gets up to the top of that dome there, the siphon should be kicking on. It's almost at three inches. Water's almost there. Should start draining in just a minute. And there she goes. The siphon is working and it's draining. Well, I finally got my siphon to where it would start okay every time. And then I ran into the problem of getting the siphon to stop or getting the siphon to break. What would happen is it would just reach an equilibrium where the water inflow was the same as the water outflow. So I did a little research, looked at some more YouTube videos, and this is an idea that I found. I drilled a hole in my cap here inserted an elbow and a piece of tubing so that when the water level falls down to here it'll break that suction I 
Also, another thing you can do is take a little medicine bottle like this, if you need to, and put this in here so that when the water drains down, it just has to suck the water out of this bottle here before it breaks the uh, suction. And then you can also trim this off if you need to adjust this, trim the bottle here. I don't know if this part is necessary, but I've got that ready as a standby. But anyway, I thought this was a pretty good idea. So we'll give that a try. The other thing that I learned was that this drainage system down here, the siphon system, does not need to be at such a sharp angle downward just an ever so slight incline helps the uh, suction work better. If it's too much of an incline, then the water doesn't create a good suction because the pipe doesn't fill with water. The water flows out of the pipe too quickly and the pipe doesn't fill, which, which is required for the suction to be created that starts the siphon. So I adjusted these pipes, fortunately, I didn't glue them together, I just fitted them together so I could make adjustments to it, but it just needs ever so slight incline to get that siphon to work, and perhaps no incline at all. It, it probably would work just fine if it was level with no incline. The siphon might actually start quicker if I did that. But it's working now. Now we need to fill, fill it with the pea gravel plants. Get my fish, put my light system up, and we'll be ready to start growing. I'm using the clay pebbles. At first I used the pea gravel and I found that the pea gravel was so heavy that I was afraid my system was going to be too heavy for my aquarium stand here. So instead of using the pea gravel, I went out and got some clay pebbles. Very, 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 very lightweight compared to the gravel. The problem with these is they float. And as the water rises, the pebbles rise. And as the water settles, the pebble, pebbles settle and it's disrupted to the roots of the plant. So my solution was to put the plants in these pots here. So even though the pots will shift around, at least the roots won't be disturbed so much. Now the floating pebbles are still a problem because as the, um, as the pebbles move around, these pots tend to shift and lean over and I would not recommend floating pebbles. I have a source now for clay pebbles that are supposed to not be floating and I'm going to get some of those and replace uh, these pebbles eventually with the clay pebbles that don't float. So if you are going to use a system like this where you have the water that rises and settles and rises and settles, I would not recommend the floating pebbles. I would use something that does not float. You can see I um, installed my lighting system. I'm using three of the four foot shop lights. I put LED light bulbs in here to cut back on electricity usage and I uh, put it on a timer. So now we're fully operational.